Regim, great having you with us in the studio today. You are absolutely an industry veteran in the cloud computing world and building world-class applications. I'm excited to learn more about everything Informatica Snowflake Native App does. Thanks, Phoebe. Thanks for having us here. Can you give us an introduction to EDI? Sure. Um, so, uh, Phoebe, when uh, we, we first started with what is called as Informatica Superpipe, Right, and we learned a lot from that. Where we learned like the value that you know of build, of integrating our cloud mass ingestion product with Snowpipe streaming, and also with the deferred merge. What we learned from that, and with the enterprise grade solution that we have with our CMI technology, we kind of thought it'll be great to have this for our for the Snowflake customers and kind of bring it and kind of meet them where they are, specifically within the Snowflake platform itself. So now customers can leverage the enterprise rate capability of doing you know, mass replication or incremental replication within the marketplace itself, within the Snowflake marketplace itself. They can download the app from the Snowflake marketplace, install it on their account, and then be able to run the entire replication job so that they can bring data from various different sources into Snowflake 3.5x faster. Wow. Right, And compared to the batch load, uh, so this is much faster that they're bringing in. And also in terms of uh, you know the overall cost savings for the solution, because it's doing deferred merge, uh, and the in they can set the interval at which, depending on the, the rate at which they are bringing in data, so that the merge from the temporary table to the target table um, is optimized. So that way you know, you're not spending a lot on the compute cost. So that um, it, it kind of uh, enables the lower TCO for the customers. And not only that, uh, because of these capabilities, these integrations that we have built, customers can now query the data in near real time. So wow. as soon as the data comes in, they're able to query it uh, from the view, and and uh, you know and 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 they can also replicate, like you know, get to I would say leverage the features such as you know schema drift that CMI provides, and at the same time also features like uh, you know shallow deletes, etc. Fantastic! I'm excited. Can we see a demo of it? Sure. So as part of the demo, what I have is the source, which is which I'm using for which I'm using Oracle. So I'm going to bring data uh, as part of this demo from Oracle, uh, and we are going to ingest the data in near real time. And this is Oracle database. This is an Oracle and database. And already in SQL format. And it's already in SQL format. Got it. And now we are, and this is running on prem. Mm -hmm. And now we are going to bring this data from there into uh, Snowflake, right? So this is, as you can see here, this is the data that's in my Oracle table. Right, and then um, also, I'm going to ingest some rows into the Oracle table, um, and you will see that propagate on the other side. But before we do that, let's go and look at the how do we create a replication task. All right, so I'm going to come in here, and this is uh, all the apps that I have, and now I've already downloaded or installed the native the EDI app from the marketplace. Already done that, and this is my app that I have. So now I'm um, it's already installed. I'm initiating the app now here, right? And this app is basically going and getting all the replication tasks that I've already created, getting all the status and everything, right? And customers, when they come into the app, what they can do is they can first go ahead and create a Snowflake connection, right? So this is the target connection that they have basically put. So where they will go, they're going to define hey, the username, password, what database that they want to write to, or what Snowflake database or, or table that they want to write to. And so now they have defined that, right? Then um, it's also super simple. I was talking about those agents, right? Yeah. Which are kind of the data processors and which do the connectivity from the source to the target and move the data from the source to the target. So they can come in here and basically manage their agents or configure their agents in here in a, in a super simple way. They just have to add it and it gets added. Right? Now let's look at how to create a replication task. Right? So this replication task is nothing but what you're doing here is you're basically configuring the task that's going to move the data continuously. You can do incremental loads, continuous loads. And how do you move the data from Oracle mm. to Snowflake? Right? So let's give the task a name. Right? Let's call this uh, demo right? uh, replication task Oracle to Snowflake. Right? And then you know they can give a description. Hey, 
this is a demo task for replication. Then here, you can choose whether you want to do initial load. That means it's a one-time load, mm -hmm. because sometimes customers just want to do a one-time load. Or they could do an initial or an incremental load, right? So I'm going to select both here. So it's uh, capturing the BOC or the CDC part. Correct. If it'll do, if, if the data is already exist in that database, so it's going to bring the data, all the data first, mm -hmm. and then it keeps running so that, you know, now whenever you write data to your source, it's mm -hmm. going to write it to the target okay. as well. Right? So there's no loss in business continuity. Love it. Right. And then you can, today we do have two connectors. Again, we are looking to expand these more. Mm -hmm. Right. And then, so now I have chosen. So now once I chose what connector type I want, you can see here that the different uh, instance or the different properties of the database or the source. Here I'm configuring the source, the different properties. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, just type in the username and password here. Right? That's my source. And I'm going to give the service name. So all I'm doing here is basically configuring all the uh, you know the service names and all of it. Yeah, that's a familiar part because I was working on Oracle before to see the database right. part. Yeah, and and these are all Oracle properties. So yeah. we do have a bunch of properties because uh, you know uh, we so that customers can use multiple modalities to bring data. And it's in all the data. pre configured. Yes, and as you can see here, there is no code at all. Right? Yeah, it's all no code, low code, right? Or actually, no code. Um, no code. All right. And now I'm going to go ahead and test the connection. So this way, they can also verify that if I'm able to connect to the source, right? And once they connect to the source, now it'll basically be going. So it's all the way. So you can see here that the connection is successful now, right? And now it's bringing in all. So this table has thousands of schemas and and uh, tables. So it's now loading all of that. Uh, and bringing all that information within the native app itself to say, hey, here are the schemas that exist within the, um, you know, within the native app and all of that, right? Totally. So now I'm going to go ahead and uh, look at the schema. I'm going to select the schema here, right? Once I select the schema, it basically gives me whether again customers can bring in all the objects under the schema, or they can also select that they want to bring. Got it. Right, and then you know we do have search capabilities and everything. So now you can see here, I can go ahead and search. So the table that I want to bring in is called demo sales, mm -hmm. and uh, that's the data that I want to bring. So I can now even you know sometimes we work with large enterprise customers. They have thousands of tables, thousands of this is one. So this is where you know we look at hey you know. These, we provide those kind of search capabilities and everything, so it's easy for them to find. I think I was talking about the deferred merge technology, right? I want to kind of a little bit de de dive deep into that. So what happens is uh, when the secure agent uh, under EDI writes to the, the it doesn't write to the target table, mm -hmm. the table that you want to take the data to. Yep. It basically writes to a Snowflake view, and then that view is then at, at a certain interval, based on the deferred merge interval that you specify, it'll write it to the target table. Got it. Right? So this basically gives the customers that if they know, hey, I'm going to get data, my or my get my usual my CDC or my the rate at which I get my data usually is within this interval, mm -hmm. then they can actually optimize for that so that they are not always so it's not like every row you write is constantly writing to it. Okay. So that way the, the computational efficiency is maintained and also it may lower the TCO for them. Love it. Right? So here, as you can see here, I specify the default merge interval to be 300. Right now, I'm going to go ahead and configure the And that's the 300 table. seconds. That's 300 seconds. Got it. Right, every 300 seconds, it'll go and merge. Customers, if their data rate is slower, mm -hmm. they can even specify a larger number. Got right? it. And now I'm going to go ahead and give the schema name. Say I'm going to say, "Hey, demo test." Right. I'm not going to run this. I'm just going to save this task because I've already created a task that I already have. Right. For the purpose of the demo, mm -hmm. and let me. Once I save this, so now all of this is basically saved. So now you can see that, and then once the customer says run, the task gets deployed. And all of these tasks gets deployed within the, uh, the secure agent. So it's saved now, right? So I'm going to go back. I've configured everything, right? And if I go back 
to the uh, the main window, you will see that the demo RT Oracle SF is being published, right? Okay, you can see here the task is here. It's a valid task, right? And then as soon as you start deploying it, you can go ahead and deploy it. You can edit it and all of that. But I do already have a task that I've already created for this, and it's already deployed and running, cool. right? And it's a one-time thing. So yep. you created the task once, and it's already deployed, mm -hmm. right? So now, also, let's look at what is in the target table, right? So this is the target table that is being that the task is replicating yep. to, right? And it has about, you can see here, it has 19 records, right? Mm -hmm. And then you also can see that, um, you know, this is uh, all the data that it has. So what, what is the base? The base is the target table. I was talking about deferred merge, right? Yep. So the view, this is the view table, that mm -hmm. it's, it's, or the Snowflake view that it's writing to. And then the base table is basically the target table. Got so it. whenever I query, if I query against the view, it merges the data. This is Snowflake deferred merge. It merges the data between the view and the target and brings me the data in near real time. So mm -hmm. I'm able to get all the latest data as part of my query. I don't have to wait. Amazing. Right? Now, if I'm, I'm going to go back uh, to my here, and I'm going to insert three data records in here, right? So let's uh, execute the, the whole SQL script. It's a simple script that it basically entered three values, right? And when we look before, the total number of values that we saw was 19. around 19, yep. right? Now, you should see that it's 22. Oh my God. This is right? definitely and this is in real, real time. time. Yeah. Right? And if let's go back here and the records, let's look at the record ID. So we, re in, we put in 122, 123, and 124. Mm -hmm. Those were the three records that we put, right? And if I run the on the table here, you can see here, I'm going to sort this. You can see 122, 123, 124. Sweet. But let's look at the base table. Uh -huh. It should still have 19. Yes. Right? So it's not writing to the base. So it's basically writing to the view. Thanks for the demo, Rajiv. It's so powerful to see everything in action. So for people who want to learn more about Informatica, where shall they get started? Yeah. So this slide here, so we have the QR codes. So first thing for the two solutions that we talked about, briefly talked about today, which is the Enterprise Data Integrator, that's what we saw the demo for. We have a blog on it, so customers can go there and then you know, go through the blog and it has much more details there. And then also for Superpipe, you know, we have a blog for it, so they can go there as well. And of course, you know, there are many solutions, joint solutions that we have built with Snowflake over time of our partnership. And um, some of the solutions we couldn't discuss today given the time, so they can also go to our solutions page on informatica.com and get to know more. And even after this, all their questions are not answered. They can always contact us. You know, someone from us will definitely reach out to them and definitely try to get their uh, their needs addressed. And also at Informatica World, uh, you know, uh, which is going to be in Las Vegas, we have more to show, more to this, and would love to have to host them and have a conversation with them. Fantastic information. It's a whole package there. Rajiv, thank you so much for being with us today. We appreciate your time and your fantastic demo. Thanks, Phoebe. Thanks for really having us here. It was great talking to you. Thanks for tuning in. To watch a full recording of this conversation, please check the link in the description of this video. To learn more about companies are building on top of Snowflake, go to developers.snowflake.com. And be sure to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.